Hey guys, what's up? Zombie here. Welcome to a bit of a review on a launcher I've been using. If you have an Android phone, I'm using my Note 8 right now. I haven't upgraded to another one yet. But if you have an Android phone, you can change these things called launchers that change the feel and the layout of your entire home screen and you can customize how it looks. I was using Nova for a while. I've used Go Launcher. I've used several different ones like the the Google Google Go, I think it was, or Google Now. I used that one. Uh, recently I've been using Nova a lot, but then I came across this one and it looked cool. So I think it's pronounced Niagara Launcher because it smelled like Ni it's spelled like Niagara Falls. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Niagara or Niagara. I think it's Niagara, but it's really cool. And I wanted to show it to you. This is what this is how it's spelled so you can find it on the Play Store once it's released. And I'm liking it. He's updating it every couple days. It's pretty nice. He's fixing different things, and I just wanted to go over a few of the features of the launcher so let's show it to you so this is the basic layout and um, as you can see it's very different from most launchers that you have ever seen before don't mind the Deadpool that's just my wallpaper <laughs> I like having the black background wallpaper it makes it look nice and clean and crisp but the point of this whole launcher is just to have a good flow that's thus the name like Niagara Falls kind of thing that's my guess on why he named it that but it's supposed to flow, it's supposed to feel fluid, um, very easy to use, all in one place kind of thing, no hassle. That's what it's supposed to be, like a clean launcher with very little clutter. And all of it's done from one screen. You don't have all the separate pages, but let me show you something really cool. Like you just saw, at the top you choose, when you start it, you choose eight favorite apps, your most used apps, and then they put those in the top. Those are my most used apps that I chose as my favorites that you see on the top there. If you see it, you can see this is actually my phone and the ones that are on there. Um, so those are the favorites. And to find other ones, you just drag on the side and scroll down. See? You can see me doing it right here. You can even drag way over. Wah, 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 wah. But yeah, if I wanted, like, if I wanted to find my podcasting app, I would just go down to P. You can either just tap on it or you can scroll then you can just drag and scroll on those. See, Podcast Addict. That's my podcasting app. And yes, I know I have Pong. I'm old. I like Pong. Shut up. But still, um, yeah, Podcast Addict, that's normally why I listen to podcasts. And I want to show you a really cool feature that this program, that this launcher has. One of my favorite features of it is it kind of has, they're kind of like uh, pop-up, what's the word for it? Like pop-up uh, widgets. I think that's something that they do in BlackBerry. I haven't used BlackBerry, but my wife used to. So if I had something like a podcast running, and I click out of this, it shows as a pop-up widget that's there temporarily on your home screen. And when you stop it, you can swipe it out. Oh, my bad. You can swipe it out and it just goes away. Uh, it's like closing the app, but you can, it keeps the app running in the background just like you had it. But if you close the app on here, it just disappears from there. And it's pretty nice. It does it with music also. I've noticed a couple glitches with the music one, but he'll probably fix that. with the Because it's still not released yet. It's not complete. This is still kind of beta stages, but it, flo it flows really well. And it's, it's very fast. As you can see, it's all very fast. I like it. I really like it. I mean, there's like nothing running in the background. If you want your alarm clock, you just tap on the clock. There's your alarms and stuff. Yes, I know I wake up really early, 4 a.m. Um, your calendars. Those are just two basic things for productivity that are always on top, and it's nice. Um, your swiping normally it works just like it does before. Your app drawer is the whole main page. There's no need to open a separate app drawer, no need for folders. It's nice. It's all in one place, and I really like it. So I wanted to share share this with you guys. I wanted to show it to you. Um, right now, it's unreleased. I'm not sure if it's available to everyone, but it, if it is, check it out. If not, just wait for it to get released, and you will enjoy this, because I think it feels very crisp. It feels very fast. I enjoy it. I've actually been using this for about half a week now, and I've been really liking it. Like, all my Facebook stuff, I just go there. Flappy Bird, of course. <laughs> But still, I, I enjoy this. It was good. I wanted to share the joy with you guys, and I hope you enjoy it too. So have a good one, guys. Just wanted to give my two bits of information on that. Bye.